What's going on family? This is Greg Foster here with Market Boss Real Estate Group and this behind me is the Santiago plan by Century Communities with nearly 2,400 square feet of living space. It's their flagship design and one of the fastest selling communities here in New Braunfels, Texas. You've got bright open living spaces, nice sized bedrooms, lots of mature oak trees, and green belt home sites surrounding the entire neighborhood. And you're just minutes away from all of the beauty and the fun that New Braunfels has to offer. Let's check this place out. Today we're at Hidden Springs here in New Braunfels, Texas, and what I really like about this community is just how secluded everything feels, even though you're right around the corner from everything that's cool about living in New Braunfels. You're just five to 10 minutes away from grocery stores, the newest shopping centers, you've got great schools nearby, there's amazing restaurants right around the corner, and of course, all of the year-round outdoor activities that people really appreciate about living in this area. The model here in Hidden Springs is the Santiago Plan, which is the community's largest home design, clocking in at 2,394 square feet with four bedrooms and three full bathrooms. This home sits on one of only 110 build sites that Century Communities has planned for this neighborhood. It's definitely gonna have a smaller, close-knit type of vibe when everything's built out around here, so I'm really excited to show you guys what this home has to offer. If you're considering a move in the near future, our team gets calls every day from folks just like you looking into the New Braunfels area, and we absolutely dig it. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home anywhere in the New Braunfels or San Antonio area, I'll be sure to link our information in the description below. We'd love to have a conversation with you. Now, if you didn't know where to look, you might drive right past Hidden Springs without even knowing it was there. The name itself is very fitting because it's actually hidden behind a line of trees and green belts that nearly surround the entire community. It really creates this sense of being far away from everything, even though you're just minutes away from the city. As you enter the neighborhood and pass the monument on your left, you'll make your way to the Santiago, and right away you'll notice just how bright and welcoming this front elevation is. The gray and white color palette on the siding coupled with the stone accents really give this home a nice clean look to it. The landscaping package includes full sod along with the tree and an assortment of bushes and flowers that line your walkway all the way up to the front door. Then out back you've got a similar setup with a new baby tree right in the center of the yard and this cool little mulchy area right on the back edge with some nice landscaping giving the yard some additional texture. My favorite part back here though is all the mature oak trees enveloping this lot and stretching up into the sky. The builder really did a great job of preserving as many trees as possible, which is something you just don't see as much with a lot of the newer communities here in Texas. And if you're into spending time outside beneath the treetops, you'll really appreciate the covered patio on the back of this home. It is an upgrade since the floor plan's included options only come with the rear concrete stoop, but it's definitely worth it if you're looking for an outdoor space to entertain, maybe have a cup of coffee in the morning, or if you just want to relax in the evening and enjoy the Texas sunsets. Let's head inside and take a look at the layout to see what this home has to offer. You're greeted by this long foyer area as you walk in through the front door, and there's this little nook right here off the stairs with a nice little entry table, a decorative mirror, and a lamp to brighten up the area. If you're like me and you have the habit of misplacing your keys, your wallet, or your sunglasses all the time, this is a really good place to keep them. Just past there you have your first bedroom right at the front of the house, which works really well for the office study type setup that they've got going on in here. I really thought the chalkboard wall was a nice touch, but if you did want to use this as a bedroom, maybe for a guest suite, you could totally do that because you do have a walk-in closet and access to the full bathroom right around the corner. I really appreciate that you get a full-size cabinet and a decent-sized counter in here. I always prefer that over a pedestal sink for the extra storage. On the opposite wall, you have your shower-tub combo with a towel surround and a little corner shelf for your body washes and your shampoos and stuff. Further down the entryway, you make it into the heart of the home, and there's a lot going on in here with this wide-open concept. Right at the front, you have your family room, which I think is perfectly set up with the furniture they have in here. You've got plenty of room for a large sectional, an end table, and a couple of chairs. Your coffee table should fit in here real nicely too, whether you're using it for decorations or if you're into eating off that thing like I am. And this entire living area just has this fresh, open feel to it with all of the natural light coming in from the windows. Right behind the family room is the kitchen and the dining area, which we'll get into in a bit. This kitchen really stands out with the sharp contrast of the white cabinets and counters against the dark wood look tile flooring. There's a large center island with enough bar type seating for three or four people, depending on the size of the chairs, 
and plenty of cabinets and counter space for you to work with in here too. Stepping into the kitchen, you have a separate bank of cabinets right next to the pantry. And this pantry is ginormous. It's basically large enough to have your own mini grocery store in there if you want to. 42 inch cabinets come included with this home design, which means that if you're like most people, you'll probably need a step stool to reach those top shelves. In my family, we're all a bunch of shorties, so even though it's nice to have all that cabinet space, there's not a whole lot that we put up on them top shelves. Especially the ones over the fridge, I'd legit have to get a ladder for that stuff. In this kitchen, you've got a lot of space between the island and the back counter, so there's plenty of room for multiple people to move around in here without bumping into each other. Hidden Springs is a natural gas community, so you do get gas cooking along with the gas for your furnace and hot water heater. If you turn right around here, you've got a double sink in the center island overlooking the family room so you can see what's going on in there. And right next to the kitchen is the breakfast area just off these sliding glass doors heading onto the back patio. You could easily fit six to eight people here depending on the size and the shape of the table. And from this back corner, you get a really nice view of the entire downstairs living space. That's gonna wrap it up for the first floor. Let's head upstairs and see what's going on up there. As you make your way upstairs, you come right into the loft area where you've got really good sized windows with lots of natural lighting up here and more than enough space for this to either be a game room or just a second living space for watching TV and hanging out. At the first door on your left, you have a super spacious laundry room complete with instructions just in case you forget what you're doing in there. And right next to that, you have a very generous primary bedroom with lots of windows streaming in tons of natural light. This king size bed easily fits on the back wall with plenty of room for a nightstand on both sides. And I think the wood paneling is a really nice touch with some added texture in here. The opposite wall does a great job fitting this large dresser and there's more than enough room from the bed for a yoga mat or to jump around if you're into doing some at-home workouts. And I ain't playing about that yoga thing either. Either. It'll definitely change the game for your balance and your flexibility. On that back wall, you also have the entrance to your primary bathroom, complete with double vanity, cabinets under the sink for storage, and a wall-to-wall -wall mirror for checking yourself out while you're getting ready in the mornings. Next to that, you've got a large walk-in shower with more than enough room for two people if you don't mind sharing. And across from the shower, you have this little potty room, which is actually larger than what I see in a lot of newly built homes. A lot of these newer homes have what I like to refer to as toilet dungeons because of how small they are and how claustrophobic they feel, but that's just not the case with this home though. Heading out of the main bedroom past the loft area, you'll find two more bedrooms and another full bathroom. This first bedroom sits on the back corner of the house and has the benefit of a second smaller window so you get lots of natural light coming in from both directions. This is probably the best use of the space for this layout with the bed in the corner across from the entry. You get this area right at the foot of the bed to hang out with this little guy and on the opposite wall, there's more than enough room for a dresser right next to the walk-in closet. Down the hall, you come to the third full bathroom, which has a similar setup to the guest bath that we saw downstairs earlier. And next to this is the fourth bedroom at the end of the hallway, which measures out the same as bedroom two with just a slightly different layout. This model features a full-size bed, but you could just as easily fit a queen in here with all that space on either side of both nice stands and still have more than enough room to walk around with a good-sized dresser on the far wall. Now, if you want any more information about this home or any of the other floor plans available in Hidden Springs, my team's getting calls every day from folks just like you looking into New Braunfels, Texas, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home anywhere in the New Braunfels or San Antonio area, then give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or click the link in the description to schedule a Zoom call with a member of our team. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back in New Braunfels, Texas.